Welcome to C-Sharp question 7 feature tutorials pattern matching brought to you by Anpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session we are going to learn about the pattern matching. So patterns are introduced in the C-Sharp question 7 to bring power to some existing language operators and statements. So pattern matching feature introduced in the C-Sharp version 7 it has the following two advantages. So you can perform pattern matching on any data type even your own type whereas with if else you always need primitives to match. Pattern matching can extract values from your expression. So this is very important we have to understand it very clearly and let me show you a demo of pattern matching very soon and C sharp version 7 also introduced pattern matching in two cases that is the is expression and the switch statement. So let us learn like how we can make use of the pattern match matching with these two uh, things in these two cases that is is expression and the switch statement and also the important point is pattern matching can extract values from your expression. So to understand that very clearly let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you a demo of it. So what I what I'll do right now is I'm already having a piece of code okay where I have some classes defined let me copy this and let me paste it here okay so I've taken three classes you can observe very clearly here so this is my class program default class and these three classes what I've defined here person author and the reader okay and you can observe very clearly again person class is been inherited by author and the reader so what I do is first let me create an object of the author class a is equal to new author and let me assign the values to each of them first let me assign the values to the inherited, inherited class that is name age and sex so let me go with that name is Arish or let me take my name itself it sounds very well and name so and let me go with the age is 25 and a dot each and it's it's six it's male okay and this ends here and now let me take some of the properties of the author that is book title and publishing year book title that is book title is no trees then publishing year I'll be publishing it this year and the ending sorry it's a I have to pass directly without a string yes this is what about the author a author class so let me go with the reader reader r is equal to new reader so r dot name is equal to it's sam the reader is Sam and R dot age equals 30 and R dot sex equals male again so now R dot let me go with these two things uh, interest and job this is the two properties for reader interest uh, is interest will be like uh, reading next and the job is a developer software developer so now what I'll do is I'll show you the pattern matching so what I'll do is first I'll go with the I told as I told you earlier pattern matching can be used in two cases one is when I use this is expression so let me show you that where I can use the pattern matching uh, with this expression and the switch statement too so let me explain you very clearly uh, such that so uh, and you can perform the pattern matching on any data type even of your own data type so now what I'll do is let me go back to my visual studio and let me show you what demo there so first what I'll do is I'll call if if a is this expression is expression if a is uh, author yeah if a is a author what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell like okay um, is 
sorry. Uh, by default, a, a type is an author type. So let me take something like author is inherited the person. So let me take check out whether a is a person to or not. It's a person else it has to. A is not a person. Since A is inheriting, since author is inheriting the person class, it should be a person. Okay. You can observe very clearly here. Okay. This person class is been inherited to author, so author by default will become a person type. So now when I run this application, I'll get the output as A is a person. Okay. Because author is inheriting the person, so by default the author type will be also the person type can observe here we get a is a person suppose if I check okay using this expression using this expression what I'm trying, trying to do is if I check if a is a reader no a author can't be a reader because because you can observe very clear no way I'm inheriting this reader class to the author okay, I'm just inheriting the person so author can be of the author type as well as the person type so here you can you can observe very clearly I'm getting a warning telling like the given expression is never of the provided so what I'll do is a is person a is sorry I have to change your a is a reader and here it's not a reader so obviously we'll get the output as a is not a reader because a is of author type or it's of person type but no way it's a reader type so when I do control f5 I'll get the output as a is person and a is not a reader this is where we have to make use of um, the pattern matching with help in these two cases is expression okay this is what the pattern matching is so another important thing we have to keep in mind where we use the switch case the pattern pat matching okay uh, C sharp introduced pattern matching in two cases that is the is expression and the switch statement let me show you how can I use the switch statement pattern matching so apart from that you can observe very clearly pattern matching can extract values from your expression so that also we're going to see so let me come here so what I'll do is I'll write the switch case to that switch I'm going to pass the object A of the author this is what I'm trying to pass so what I'll do is I'll just write a case which is of author and I'll create an object author1 okay when I'm writing a matching when okay uh, author1 dot age okay is equal to equal to what is the age I've assigned to the author it's 25 yes it's 25 if it is equal to 25 Okay, what I'm trying to tell you is okay, I have to end up with the semicolon here. That's the reason it's not following it. So I'm going to tell like if a author one author's age is equal to 25. Okay, what I need to do is I need to print the author name. So author one dot name. So and I have to use a break keyword that's the reason I'm getting error there so this is what okay default what I need to specify is uh, I'll specify like it's a invalid invalid pattern match so now what is the output I'm going to get is I'm going to get the output as okay we have an error let me check out what is the error I have there so the error is your yeah so what I'm trying to do here is yeah I have to add this colon not the semicolon that's the reason so when I press F5 so I'll get the output as the author name A is person A is not a reader and the author name is Aish so instead of uh, passing if instead of if I give more than that or less than that so I'll get this invalid pattern matches the output you can observe very clearly okay what is P-A-T-T uh, E-R-N it's a pattern match this is what the output we're going to get so this is how we can use pattern matching in two cases one is when I make use of is expression and the switch statement and also we can extract the values from the expression that's what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to extract uh, the values of the age of the author class okay and this is how we can make use of the pattern matching okay and that's what we saw in this session so finally 
what we learned here is we learned like what is pattern matching and where we can use it in two cases the the is expression and the switch statement so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel anchor training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day